welcome to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. And I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we are taking a look at the Screen Junkies Honest trailer for Venom. Okay, it was just... I liked it. I thought it was fun. I enjoyed fine. it. It was a, it was it a was fun flick. It was It's perfect. bad. It's, it's a bad, bad film. Yeah. But we still, we still found it entertaining. Yeah, overall we did. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. still bad film. Being really honest, if bad film. you take it a different look at it. If you're able to take it at a different angle, you can find it to be a highly entertaining film. Fun and entertaining film. We'll probably explain, or they may bring it up in this honest trailer. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, if not, then we'll bring it up pretty much how you can enjoy it even better if you look at it, at a, like you said, a different angle or a different type of movie. Yeah. So, here we go. Let's dive right into this to see what they're going to probably bring up a whole bunch of stuff for uh, Honest Trailers Venom. So, here we go. <laughs> the Spider-Man villain everyone wanted to see on screen until they did. Hey, Parker. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! They can't even afford to put Spider-Man in it. Venom. Get ready for a gnarly, sick, tight movie you'll love. As long as you're the kind of person who says gnarly, sick, and tight. <laughs> as this genre runs out of Silver Age heroes to adapt. Yep. And enters the extreme 90s era of leather jackets and attitude. For a film that would have been so much better if it were rated R. Mm -hmm. But it made almost a billion dollars. So sh what do we know? Witness Tom Sequel. Hardy doing just the most with the role of Eddie Brock as he plays the investigative reporter like a crackhead squirrel. He's <laughs> <laughs> that was so fucking stupid. Yeah, I don't know what his accent he was going for. His ever changing man bracelets. Yeah. And so many weird little noises. You'll wonder if they've been covering his mouth for a reason. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize how many things he had. Oh god, that fucking oh god. scene. Oh my god, that fucking Watch everything change when he's infected by an evil splooge from outer space. <laughs> his being like Venom. A member of a parasitic race that's gonna conquer Earth unless humanity can somehow get its hands on a halfway decent sound system. Yeah, that was the weirdest weak thing about man, was some symbiote. They'll chomp their way through good and bad guys alike, prompting audiences everywhere to wonder: Does Eddie Brock know what human flesh tastes like? Is he technically a cannibal? When Venom bites off a head, does Eddie have to crap out the skull in it? These all Tom's favorite parts that got cut out. And yeah, they said they got a lot. Action. Then stop enjoying it while they bore you to death with science talk. We're collecting this data as quickly as possible. One of the organisms got out of containment. Lots and lots of science talk. You discovered a gene therapy that literally doubles the life expectancy of bacteria. Why are all these hosts showing this hyperacute injection? Okay, yeah. Okay, the first part with the whole gene therapy thing is a bit much. You never speak more sense. Fully automated, you can't pilot that craft all alone. Directing the boredom is the not so secretly evil Carlton Drake, a man who wants to destroy humanity in order to save it. Yeah, that sounds great. Right. Extinction. A plan shared by this film's villain, Infinity Wars, Mission Impossible Fallout, <laughs> and The Predators. And that's just in 2018. Drill oh, yeah. assumes his final form, Raisin Venom. Then try to change the hero as the action concludes <laughs> with two syrupy blotches wrestling each other like a Winamp visualizer with teeth. It really whips the llama's ass. <laughs> what? It's, <laughs> it's also a love story as Eddie is torn between his love of Michelle Williams' terrible wig. I'm sorry about that. And the special yeah, that was a wig? Yeah, even my wife was like, that's a horrible wig. Oh, and no, it's not weird that I shipped Simrock. The movie made a quarter billion in China, and this is how they advertised it. Look, ever since the <laughs> What? Oh, okay, that scene was weird. Ooh, epic voice you like it. So it's that was... a comic book film that isn't bogged down by 20 other episodes like the MCU or the grandiose pretensions of the DC Universe. This is amazing. Because sometimes it's fun to watch a movie that's just a movie. Even though it did so well, Sony will probably use it to kickstart an entire cinematic universe. Hard pass, Sony. Hard pass. 
Unless you get flubber. Oh god, no. Scar. Oh, yeah. Sad Max. <laughs> and the veins. Dan from V. And Dan from Venom. Yeah. yeah. I was like, so I'm like, wait, that guy. Elon Musk. Everyone gives. The Rialto Theater. The Rialto Theater. And that's that's Rialto Theater as well. Uh, oh, they reuse the same. Again. What theater is that? Oh, it's the Rialto. They get the easy. <laughs> I love Rick Karn. Of the turf kind. The turf. The way down the street. A turd. In the wind. If your turds are thin or light enough to roll in the wind, please call your gas pump. Slow motion, like baby lotion. I like to have my elbows tickled. Firefly is the opposite of waterfall. Ah! <laughs> Firefly is the opposite. Let the devil in. I love that one. Firefly is the opposite of waterfall. But oh, clever. Again, like they said, pretty much. If you watch no, it, it would be water drive. It's a fly drive. <laughs> go on, go on. Like they said, pretty much. If you looked at it as a, as a different type of film. You know, it's and, gonna be fun and entertaining. You know, you don't have to be worried about anything from the MCU. You just, it's just a movie you can sit down and watch. And like we said, we sat down and we thought of it as a buddy cop movie. I honestly didn't realize that was a wig she was wearing. I honestly yeah. did not. I didn't know either until my wife pretty much was like, she's like, that's a horrible wig she's wearing. I'm like, that's not a wig. She's like, sweetie, that is a wig. I know my wigs. I'm like, okay, that's a wig. I and didn't know that was a wig. Yeah, but that's so a So it fooled me. Um, yeah. But what you said for, yeah, I don't know what accent he was going for. I, I really don't it, know. I only know is he was going for not natural accent. His not, his not natural accent. Because he did bring up the point that he was, you know, he was in New York and stuff like that. So it's like he's... Yeah, like, he's free. Remember, he's, he's from his New whole York. story is based in New York. But they moved him to San Francisco because... New York is too fucking obvious right now. Yeah, exactly. With the MCU. But it's like, it. he was trying to toss in some stuff in New York, but it's like, it was not working with him. It's like, what was he trying to, he's like, so he was inventing something brand new. Yeah, I saw, I saw her new boyfriend, like, wait, isn't that the guy from Veep? I was like, why do you think I look familiar? Even I was sitting going, oh, this guy. Cool. Yeah. But yeah, this was, it was, yeah, they even enjoyed it to an extent. It was, it was fun, pretty much. Again, like I said, we sat down and we even we've heard a lot of people said if you enjoy it as a buddy cop, if you you know if you enjoy, like buddy cop films, you're gonna have fun with this. Yeah. That's why I went in, into it as is that I imagine this was a buddy cop film and I had fun with it. But if you tell me, oh, it's gonna you know it's like I'm gonna be, my mind's gonna be focused on a comic book stuff like that, then it's a horrible film of how they did it. Mm -hmm. But overall, if you look at it as a buddy cop film, you're gonna have fun. You're gonna enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I didn't know like I said the whole reality theater. How many scenes they I, reused just for that one? Uh, how many for that yeah. chasing alone? How many times they crossed it? How many? I've lost count, but yeah. Like I said, this was enjoyable. It if was you, fun. But and we understand if you didn't like Venom, that's fine. But again, if you looked at it as something different, then yeah, you're gonna have fun with it. You're certainly gonna have some fun with it. So other than that, if you're new to the channel, you get the like button. If you want to talk some more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like it, just a little bit more to anybody else when it comes to talking about honest trailers, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Very interesting how they use those posters in, in China. That and the llama whipping part. Yeah. I was like, wait, llama whipping? <laughs> hey, where, where did that come from? But the posters overall. Like, I didn't know that's how they promoted it. I honestly Holy didn't. crap, they made it seem like it's a happy cheer go film, you know, for the kids. Yeah. But let us know what you guys thought of this. Um, overall, let us know what you guys thought of, of Venom. Not as, as a comic movie, more of as... A movie what, in general. A movie in general. What do you guys think of it, pretty much, uh, you know, overall? Did you think of it as, like, a buddy cop type of film? Or did you think of it as something else? I mean, people would probably have different versions of it uh, while they looked at it, but still enjoyed it. Let us know what you guys thought of that. Let us know what you thought of the Honest Trailer, favorite part in Honest Trailer that they brought up. But most importantly... Thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And of course, this has been yet another Venom-filled episode of SRV. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.